I'm gonna do advice for new contractors because that's kind of what I am, more or less. Um, all right, so advice for new contractors, um, there's a lot, lot to go into it because you really have to go back to the very beginning before you even became a contractor and uh, take a look at your experience in the industry you're going into. A lot of guys will get their license in something they're not even that experienced in and you're really setting yourself up for failure. So I guess number one, do you even have the experience needed to become a contractor in a certain field? So I mean, that's not to discourage somebody who isn't super experienced and not becoming a contractor. I'm just saying, if you really just are not experienced enough and you get your contractor's license and you try to go take on jobs uh, you're not cut out for, you're gonna just set yourself up for failure. Um, now I am a person that advocates for fake it till you make it to a degree. You know, I don't want you to fake being an, an electrician <laughs> until you become an electrician. You have to you have to kind of have common sense. Um, you know what I mean? Like if you're already an, an electrician and you're experienced and you know the basics and then you got a a particular job that's a little different than what you've normally done and you kind of just say oh yeah we've done these even though you you know like the anatomy and the basics of what you need to do yeah you fake it till you make it like yeah we've done that yeah we've done uh, landscape low voltage landscape lighting or whatever the case may be um, I think you guys are getting what I'm saying um, or if you're like a tile guy and you've tiled floors um, throughout houses but you get a job to go do like a fountain. Yeah, you've technically never done a fountain, but if they ask you and they want somebody experienced that has done fountains, I wouldn't blame you for saying, yeah, yeah, we've done fountains because you know the basics. You know how to mix the thin set, how to make, make everything level and dialed in. Okay, so number one, make sure you're experienced. Enough of that. My wife told me she loves me more than I'll ever know. That's number two. Get yourself a good, good wife <laughs> that loves you. Or if you're a lady, a good husband that loves you. I got lucky with mine. Okay. So, yeah, that's that's the big number one. Um, and then I guess I'll say with that, if you're not experienced enough in a, in a certain field and you know you want to go into it, get the experience. Go get a dang job in it. Uh, if you know somebody in the industry, if, if you're, if you have the ability to just volunteer your time to go help them so you can learn, um, you know, people are going to be a lot more inclined to teach you something if they don't have to pay you. So if you want to learn how to do plumbing and your buddy or your family member is a plumber and they might need an extra hand, go volunteer your time if you have the means to, if, if, you know, some people don't have the ability to do that. They need any any uh, hour they spend out during the day, they need to make sure they get paid, and I understand that. But if you do have the means, do that. You can even do that on the weekends. Um, I did that when I had my swimming pool uh, swimming pool business. I I did that with service with cleaning. I actually ended up going to get a job for cleaning, and then I would also uh, help a buddy doing pool repair. So. Uh, the electrical and plumbing aspects of uh, swimming pool repair um so yeah go get the experience okay now let's get into the part that you're you are experienced and you have your license um what next well that's going to change a lot depending on the kind of tr contractor you are and in my case i'm a swimming pool contractor so when we go out to build a swimming pool there are so many different phases of that construction process where um, we have a lot of subcontractors we work with. So you have your shot creek company, which is concrete inside the pool. They shoot at, at high pressure. Um, you have the, your excavator. A lot of guys don't dig their pools in house. So you have your excavator. Uh, you have your steel that comes in, all the rebar, your plumbing and electrical, shot creek we already said. Uh, you have your tile and stone. You have your concrete for the, for the deck. Um, Plaster. I mean, there's just so many different contractors that come in. Um, you need to make sure you have good subs. So most most times, you're not going to be doing everything in-house. Uh, 
Maybe you will be. Maybe you're a landscape contractor and you have a couple guys with you and you can go uh, rip out a patio and put a new patio in all in house. If you have that ability, that's awesome because you have so much control over the quality and the process. Um, so that's good. If you don't have that, you need to make sure you get good subs. Um, and you need to make sure they're licensed subs, especially like in California where you need to have a license to do a lot of things. Um, make sure they're licensed subs uh, because the reason is they uh, they're taking they're taking the risk on themselves. They're, they're taking the liability. Um, if anything goes wrong, they're more than more, blah. If anything goes wrong, they're more likely to uh, own up to it and f get it fixed. If you just get some Joe Schmo off the street uh, to come lay tile for you and it's messed up, he's not going to come back and fix it. Most likely, he's, he's going to say tough luck. Um, so get licensed subs, get guys that want to work with you in the future on a reoccurring basis because again, they're going to fix their problems. They're going to make sure it's dialed in. Um, so get good subs. Um, let's see what else do I have in my brain. Okay, I think this is a big one actually, really, really big one. Don't take on more work than you can handle go out to all all your sales call leads go out and, and hit the floor running but don't take on more than you can handle um, you're gonna set yourself up for failure again you're gonna um, get desperate you never want to be desperate because you're just gonna make mistakes so if you have one two jobs it, and again that depends on what you're doing if you're just a tile guy if you're just a I don't know a sprinkler guy you could probably get those dialed in real quick and, and get them moving in my case doing a, a swimming pool it's a two to three month project and if you take on too many jobs at once it could turn into a nightmare and uh, it's not something you want to do so i would start off slow uh, when i got into the industry i talked to my Sh shot creek contractor um i think even my excavator told me this um, I think somebody else even I can't remember but I know a couple of my subs told me because they're a lot older than me um, Matt go slow just go easy into it uh, take your time and uh, things will work out well for you and so far that's been true um, I'm only on my third pool I've only signed contract on my third pool right now um, and I grew up in the swimming pool construction industry, so I have a lot of experience to a degree. Uh, but for us and my company in-house, we only have our third pool signed. And this is over the course of, from the time I got my first pool was in October of 2022. I signed it, actually we dug it on my birthday, October 11th, and here we are uh, coming up to Easter of 2023, and I have my third pool. So. Um, there were moments there were moments in those gaps there was kind of a big gap i finished i finished uh that first pool that we dug in october um like at the beginning of january because we had a week off for thanksgiving week off for christmas and uh, i think some rain so uh, from the time i finished that pool though there was kind of a while before some anything was happening we signed another pool out in la mirada and then now we just got one in irvine but the la mirada job took a long time because it was a HOA uh, we ended up finding pipes underground when we dug the pool so it's been postponed so I started to feel really discouraged and kind of like a failure to be honest um, the jobs have been great I mean you know fair profit margins fair pricing everything's good on it you know I'm, I'm trying to take good care of the customer while also making a fair profit that's all been really good um, <laughs> excuse me but what happens is you jump on social media you jump on Instagram you jump on whatever and you start comparing yourself to other people you see oh this person's doing this that person's doing that and you start feeling like crap about yourself so I'm kind of segueing here into just focus focus on you it's okay to look at other people for inspiration and even like friendly competition that's great and to encourage you to keep going and uh, have that kind of competitive mentality and that's really good don't get me wrong but at the same time <laughs> if you if you look into other your competition other people too much 
uh, it could really break you and mess with your head. So, all right, so what have I hit so far? Um, experience, subs, don't take too much work on at the beginning. Back to the taking too much work on at the beginning um, and why not to do that. Just to kind of shed some light on it for you because you might just think, oh, I can handle it. We'll just, just keep this in mind. For me, like in my case, I rely heavily on sub subcontractors. And for each phase, I try to have multiple subs, obviously. Um, and if you're an in-house guy, you have your own unique uh, situation. Uh, but the reason I say not to take too much work on at once is you cannot fully predict how any job is going to go. You cannot fully predict the schedule and customers are wanting their job done and you're going to feel that pressure and you're going to want to get it done. And when you're feeling pressured and desperate to get something done, you got, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Smith saying, Hey, I want my tile put in. Come on. This pool's been sitting here for a couple weeks. Where's our tile? You're going to feel pressured and desperate to get that tile in. You're going to feel desperate and, and uh, desperate enough to maybe even get somebody in there not super experienced to do the tile. That's when we start making mistakes. That's when we start losing money. Then you got to rip the tile off, replace it. Um, it's Stuff can go south really quick. So just go slow and take your time. I'm still trying to tell myself that because I kind of want to just keep going. But... Um, I'm trying to go at a, a good healthy rate for the business and my family so um, I would just relay that same advice my subs and different contractors gave me on to you guys just take it easy uh, just be proud of yourself for having your contractors license or maybe your state doesn't even require a license but just for even pursuing the this and uh, just you know show yourself grace and uh, one step at a time and anything you do just do it to the best of your ability it's better to do one thing really well than three things mediocre just as long as you can really do that one thing really well and then add on to it slowly um i think things will work out good for you and i'm i'm hoping they'll work out well for me too <laughs> so we'll see in a couple of years uh where we are um okay another thing is networking that's the thing Instagram could be a detriment to your maybe self-esteem or confidence uh, you need to be careful of who you're following on Instagram and on social media because the reason I'm saying that is the flip side is it could really be an asset there's so many contractors in your area or even just around the country that can be a huge asset to you and your business a lot of guys out there want to help help one another um, there's a contractor up in uh, NorCal as a Nick's landscaping I think that's the name uh, I've reached out to him I've called him up asked him for advice I've even we've even talked about me going up for a week and like working with him to learn learn a couple things um, Odell's complete concrete they do my concrete uh, Tyler from Odell's he and I are gonna be working quite a bit together now, on a bench build on some other stuff maybe some gates and fences just make some buddies in your industry don't don't view everybody kind of as like the evil competition because a lot of guys in your area can become an asset to you um, and then on top of that uh, you can gain traction you can make content together you could make videos and and that's honestly a really fun side of the business um, and it makes the jobs funner because you're kind of thinking when you take on a job like oh that would be a cool video it'd be cool to shoot this that's a cool new product to show in a video um, and it just kind of adds a another level of excitement to your business so I would just encourage you to do that and even if you don't make content just make some buddies um, the more people you have um, as friends in the industry I think the better it's going to be for you in the long run um, you fall on hard times hopefully those people will be there to encourage you to lift you up to help you out um, so yeah I, I would recommend that this GoPro is cool I just bought this GoPro I had this I had this insta360 camera and dude this thing is cool this thing is pretty cool but when it comes to shooting normal video I don't like it um, I think this shoots a higher the GoPro shoots a higher res better video uh, horizontal 
like standard frame video and this one is just kind of finicky you, I sometimes don't know if I'm shooting in 3d where it's getting everything or just kind of hitting a small frame I I just bit the bullet and got this GoPro uh, last night it actually arrived and so far I'm happy it has a little screen on the front and then when that times out it has a red light so you know you're recording um, so that's cool I'm gonna try to record a lot of uh, construction videos with that um, okay so anything else for advice for new contractors so this is kind of funny I'm doing this video because somebody reached out to me recently I don't know if it was from YouTube or Instagram I want to say it might have been from YouTube and these guys were from Boston I talked to one of the brothers on the phone they asked if they could call me up uh, and ask some questions and I said sure so they they gave me a ring and um, yeah he asked me just a couple questions about the pool industry and and some advice and I thought that was pretty cool and then I happen to have I have like an ongoing list of videos to do and that was one of my videos is advice for new contractors so I think him calling me kind of encouraged me to go ahead and do this video so that's cool um, I guess that's another thing is don't be afraid to reach out for help don't be afraid to uh, reach out to those guys on Instagram who might be in your area or even if they're not in your area just for advice if you run across a problem hit them up, um, ask them, ask them, you know, for their two cents on what they would recommend doing. Um, you could save yourself so much time. And you know, Tigran on YouTube ha has said this a couple times and you know, he has his goat gang thing and that's all cool. But he, what the hell did he say? He, he's basically said, hey, let, let my experience be your benefit. So my failures that I've went through and, and learned I had to learn the hard way let them benefit you just come ask for my help and I'll kind of show you what I've learned and that's that's a cool concept and that that's something that's existed forever right just you have a mentor um, so look for a mentor in your area and if they're not in your area that's okay too you can jump on the phone nowadays FaceTime um, so get a mentor uh, you don't necessarily need to join like a a Tigrans type group or something like that's cool I don't have anything against it um, that's great if you can afford it and it's in your wheelhouse go ahead and do it but you don't need to uh, Instagram and all the people you follow do be careful of the people you follow follow people that make you make you feel encouraged and inspire you don't follow people where when you see their content you like think oh fuck that guy or, or or whatever because I think a lot of us do follow people that we don't even really feel uh, encouraged by so those are the people that are influencing you every day when you go on the app so make sure you're following people that encourage you and make you feel inspired so again if Tigran is your vibe and he inspires you follow him and people like him if he isn't and somebody else is follow them and people like them um, we're all unique we all have different uh, energies and dynamics so you just you just have to kind of make sure you're following the right people and that goes with real life too so don't be associating with lazy bums um, if you want to run a successful construction business like if you're out trying to get a job done and your buddy John calls you and he's playing Xbox at you know 12 p.m. eating Cheetos he's gonna weigh you down so cut the slackers out of your life lazy ass people people on drugs drinking too much my advice is to stray away from that um, and be around people that encourage you and make you want to be a better person um, so that's some good advice too <laughs> I need a I think I do pretty good with that but I need to be more disciplined I need to wake up earlier I need to go to bed earlier wake up earlier um, there's a couple things I need to be more disciplined with um, and one of them was making YouTube videos and that still is because I want I actually want to YouTube is fun to me and I really do like this so um, I forced myself to come out this morning before I go back and do designs um, and shoot this video so I'm also working on that alongside you guys that's for sure let's see here 
Okay, I mean, there's a couple obvious things. Maybe they're obvious, maybe they're not to you. But you guys, just make sure you have the proper insurances you need. Uh, if you need insurance, uh, even if you don't need it, it's probably it's good to have it, right, as a liability, liability insurance. So make sure you're covered with that. If you have any employees, you know, if they're in-house employees, make sure you have workers' compensation. Um, if they're not in-house employees, that's a whole other thing. But every contractor has such a unique situation. I know a lot of contractors in my area, well, you, you know, they pay guys cash. They they, uh, they try to save money where they can. And I understand. Um, and I that's something I have a hard time with because I just have a hard time going against what I know I'm supposed to do. So I use this thing called labor finders where it's basically a staffing agency where the, the guy that comes out to work for you is, uh, he has all his health insurance and benefits through this staffing agency. And then he comes to work with us. The cool thing about it, I haven't done it enough yet, but the guy we just used, we really liked him, Tyler from Odell, the Odell's Concrete, and I hired him uh, through them. He did an awesome job. And the, the policy they have is if you hire them enough and you use them enough days, you could actually just take them as your employee forever. So most staffing agencies make you pay like a fee, but this company, um, if you use them enough and like them, after he hits a certain amount of hours, you could just hire him in uh, in house. The cool thing about this is you can try people out. Um, the tough thing about hiring somebody, you might try them for a week and they're great. This is what happens most of the time. And then you pull the trigger, hire them full time as an in-house employee, and they just freaking nosedive and they they're a shit employee and now you're kind of stuck with them because firing an employee nowadays is a pain so just be smart about the employees and who you bring on if you have buddies that have your back um and you're not worried about them messing with you from a legal standpoint that's the best thing to do especially starting out um, and then i would recommend the next thing is try to find a staffing agency like we did um, they're covered on workers comp insurance everything and it's a little more expensive for you sure but if a hundred dollars let me put it to you like this if sixty dollars a day for a guy to come out is gonna break your business you're not pricing yourself right so if hiring this guy from a, a legit company and it, it's gonna cost you sixty more dollars a day versus th this guy you're just paying him cash which Hey, I love everybody and I, I sympathize with people everywhere and I'm not casting any shade, but you can get in trouble as a, as a business. So I'm just trying to look out for you. Take that into your pricing uh, mindset. So know, hey, this is what my labor is going to cost me and t put that into your pricing and you're going to win jobs. Just price it right. Yeah, you're not going to win every job. You might go on 10 leads and get one. You might go on 20 leads and get one. But it's better to do that than to get a job that isn't priced right. You know what I mean? And you're and you're barely breaking even or you made just a little bit of money. It's not worth it. The whole reason we're in business is to make money, obviously. So, um when you're making when you're making the appropriate profit you should be making, the difference in cost between this legit guy versus the other one, it's not gonna make a big difference to you. And you're gonna have so much less stress because you know, hey, if he gets hurt, he's covered. Um, everything's on the up and up. That's my two cents to you guys. I know a lot of guys don't do that and I'm not judging you. I'm not, um, I'm not casting any shade. I understand everybody's situation is unique and uh, it is what it is, we're all different. Um, and I by no means have all the answers again. I'm a new contractor myself And I think that's what's cool about making this video is um, If you just got your license or you just became a contractor like today I'm I'm in on you just by like six months, maybe so This is this is you maybe six months from now Trying to shoot you some advice, which is kind of cool And I've had my contractor's license actually longer than that because I used to have a swimming pool uh, repair license where we did electrical and plumbing and pump replacements. Um, so there's a lot of nuances that I've been a little more familiarized with uh, even before that. 
but anyways guys i like making these videos they're fun um it's cool having you guys reach out to me ask questions i just like helping people um and building a community just uh it's it's cool i love construction i love the process uh we have a lot of cool videos coming up hopefully um we had this pool we're working on in Irvine and Odell and I uh, just did the demo and I didn't get a video and I was frustrated I didn't get a video that's why I got the GoPro so I'm gonna try to shoot more more footage of this job coming up um, we're gonna build a really cool bench at a six inch block um, and it's gonna be stuccoed we're gonna stucco it a dark gray and for the wood top we're gonna use um, what's it called azek it's like a i think it's called azek it's basically like uh what the heck why can't i remember the name right now it's basically a man-made wood type product so it's going to hold up to the elements uh, it's going to look really nice and clean and it won't fade uh, it'll be really durable and then behind it joined to the bench will be little planters um, maybe I'll throw up a video of it so you guys can kind of see what I'm even talking about. But it's going to be really cool, and I want to film the whole process building it with Tyler. I'm sure he's going to film it too, and uh, it's going to be just, it's going to be really cool. Not to mention the actual pool part. Um, Tyler and I even talked about tiling the pool, so we'll see if we end up tackling that together. We'll film it if we do. Um, we're also going to put up a really cool uh, aluminum gate and partial fence. So for the access of this yard, uh, we had to tear down part of their block wall and um, their wall was already cracked. So we ended up having to take it down a little bit further down the point than the homeowner wanted, but the wall was cracking. So we had no, we, we have to leave them with a quality product. So I wasn't gonna leave them with a cracked wall and then repair the rest. So we took it down at the cracked area. And uh, this company's name is called Aluma Mission and it's a it's an aluminum gate uh, uh, company so it's just a really clean simple nice modern look and uh, I'm excited to put that into I think Tyler is gonna help me on that we'll do that together and anyways a lot of cool content coming up hopefully um, apart from the construction videos I would like to maybe do I don't know more videos like this if, if they make sense and if there's topics to do um, I would also maybe like to do some design videos of me sitting at the laptop working on designs, talking about different design challenges and uh, techniques and ideas. So if you guys have any video ideas or any questions for future videos, guys, leave them in the comments because uh, that helps me think of new content to make for you guys. Um, and thanks for watching this, guys, and have a good day.